All right, now let's talk about a wordless comic, Flood by Eric Drucker. Flood is simply a fantastical story that is told only through images. It's about an artist who lives in New York City and a series of events that happen during a massive rainstorm. As you can see, Eric makes great use of blacks with his artwork and he seems to be fascinated by the way that human beings live and behave within the urban environment of the city. And he seems to be fascinated with the wind and the rain that eventually inundate the city throughout the storm. It's pretty thoughtful stuff, good for letting your mind fill in the gaps without there being words to guide your understanding of the story. And by the way, if you're a fan of Faith No More, you probably already recognize some of the imagery in this book. So check out Flood by Eric Drucker. Now look, while we're on the topic of wordless comics, let's discuss The Arrival by Sean Tan. The Arrival is about a man who leaves his home to move to a foreign land and to find work to support his family. The whole book is told through pictures and Sean Tan illustrates the book in a strikingly realistic style. He deliberately draws the architecture of the new country as well as the citizens of the new country in a fantastical alien style. And I think that this is a deliberate choice to put the reader into the shoes of someone like the main character who finds himself in an unfamiliar and disorientating environment. The illustrations are printed in a yellow sepia tone which makes the story feel like it happened a long time ago in the past. It's an effect that reminds me of the picture book Dinotopia by James Gurney because Sean Tan shows humans and non-humans living and working together in the same sort of way that James Gurney shows humans and dinosaurs living together in Dinotopia. So check out The Arrival by Sean Tan if you want to ponder the universal experience of human migration and if you want to put yourself in the shoes of someone who's just arrived in an unfamiliar culture.